goal in this space was to develop a space where the technology blended in with the environment. So in this case, we have a very high-end uh, New York City apartment, and inside this apartment, everything is automated. We can control the lights, the shades, the climate, um, all of your television shows, all your movies, all, all your music selections. So as you see here, we can control the home from iPads, we can control the home from iPod touches, or we can control the home with devices like this, which is a remote with an iPod touch built into it. We're sit sitting in the living room, and we really take advantage of the uh, <coughs> iPad. And one of the very important parts of home automation is controlling the lights. In a large home, there's many lights, there's many switches. We want to make it easy. So in this case, we can just touch the light in the picture. Notice the light turns on in the picture, yeah. and it turns on in the room. And with nowadays, with LED lights, there's many cool things you can do. It can basically change the color or the atmosphere in the room. Here you notice I'm changing it green mm. in the iPad, and it's green in the room. So being able to easily control complicated systems with easy devices. Now we're standing in the master suite. Right, and as you see here, you know, in many homes, it's difficult to find the perfect spot for your television. You know, you, you want to uh, watch a movie um, from your bed, where do you put the TV, where it's not, you know, obstructing uh, the look of the room. So here we did a few things. If you look over here, we have the bureau. As you can see, uh, the TV will come out of the furniture. So when you want to watch TV, you press a button and it automates out of the furniture. But we also wanted to uh, take advantage of this really cool uh, piece of glass we have. If you notice, I can watch multiple television shows right on the front of the door to the master closet. So this is a very cool feature. This is basically rear projection on a piece of glass. And it's a curved piece of glass. Also, as you walk into the uh, master suite <laughs> closet, I can go on the wall and turn on my favorite podcast. For example, here's uh, NPR um, news. So when I wake up in the morning, I turn on the news, I go and take a shower and get ready for work. And so now we're in the bar room. Which yeah, this is a sports bar. As, uh, you know, as technology uh, costs and, and uh, goes down, people are putting more and more entertainment in their home. In this case, uh, Savant, again, is driving the sports bar. Here, here you have a TV wall where you can take advantage of uh, four televisions and make one big uh, screen. You can, again, control that all from your iPad or from this uh, touch TV that we provide. I can take uh, one TV show and say, move it into another square. So I swap the two bottom ones. Or I can take the baseball game, just blow it up, and bring it on uh, the whole um, television. So what are your expectations for homes of the future, given the fact that home automation is growing and that you've rolled out basically all these different, I guess, products that can essentially digitize your home? What are your expectations moving forward in home well, automation? Well, in the, in the past, home automation was only for the luxury homes yeah. because of the, it was a cost barrier to it. With, with the iPad and the iPhone, those costs are... Uh, getting lower and lower where the average home can now uh, afford to put automation directly in, into your home for things like security, lighting control, and entertainment, and all the things that, that you see in our experience center. So uh, I think that's the exciting part uh, where uh, features that were once only for the luxury homes are now um, going across uh, the, the, the middle size homes and anyone that can afford to buy an iPhone can basically have a piece of automation uh, in their smart home.